Good afternoon and welcome to Ballyduan on the Copper Coast in County Waterford. You're very welcome to Ballyduan on this lovely afternoon. Um, we haven't had sun in the last two or three weeks and so I decided, you know, let's get out, let's make hay. It's not a very cold day. Uh, we're at Christmas Eve. This time last year I was up above uh, photographing and again a beautiful day, I must say. I was photographing Kilfarisi, which is the other famous beach on, on the Copper Coast. Kilfarisi is far more visited than Ballyduan for sure. Um, rarely did you find somebody here. I um, have to say, uh, two sides to Ballyduan. You've got the western side away off to my left and your right at the moment. And you've got uh, the eastern side, which is to the left of the actual beach itself, looking out onto the actual sea. And the reason they all come over here is for the very obvious behind me. Call it a needle, call it a sea stack, all we all call it is very impressive. Now, this is not the actual time to come. The tide is well out and probably on the way out more. Um, it's only that I was just so starved of sun uh, and hadn't been out for, such, for quite a while. Covid got in the way as well for me. Um, I decided to come down. Best photographed maybe about um, an hour, maybe an hour and a half before uh, full tide and up until an hour and a half after full tide. So you have a window there of between maybe two to three hours. Be careful when there is full tide that you don't, on this side of the beach, get cut off. And I will show you how you could get cut off there. Uh, there are some elbows coming from the cliffside above and behind you um, that actually reach into the beach. And with the tide in, I have seen people having to stay maybe in, in, in shelter little coves there uh, out of the, the reach of the actual sea itself uh, for maybe an hour, an hour or two until the water, until they can actually slip across and get across to the actual exit. It's not a very big beach, it's quite a short beach to be honest. Many people shoot from the other side um, as you're coming down onto the beach itself at the entrance of the car park, they go to the right. I personally find that the sea stacks there are just way too big for me. Um, they seem to, to take away from the whole bay, whereas this particular sea stack is just stunning. Ballyduan Beach can be found three and a half kilometres west of Bunmahan and four kilometres east of Stradbally along the Bunmahan Ballyvooney Road. And it is also 17.5 kilometres east of Dungarvan. This particular vlog is really going to be made up of footage, drone footage, shots that I've taken over the last year in particular, but I've been coming to Belly Duan for the last 10 years.
One thing I would say about Ballet Duan is this, get here in the winter time. It's, um, the sun is going down. We're only about three or four days after, uh, three days actually, after uh, the shortest daylight hour, day of the year. And um, so the sun is really nearly as far south as it could possibly be. And we're gonna get some good sun. It Okay, one of the big hassles with any shooting in Ireland is that you can never predict when a cloud is going to come your way. And it looks like there's quite a bank of cloud uh, down on the horizon there, up over, um, up over West Waterford, that particular area there is Ring and Helvick Head. Uh, I'm just trying to make it out really, what's cloud and what's land. I can see Helvick Head itself uh, so that's under sunlight, but there's quite a bit of cloud further in. Also, this is a beach that you could easily get cut out in. And as you can see with waves like that, you can find your wellies filling up very quickly. Yes, where have we seen this before? Anyway, I have a 1635 here. I have, um, I've got rocks in my foreground. Uh, so that I'm trying to get textures of the water around it. I'm using some lovely movement there. Uh, I'm using um, um, a Canon 5D Mark III uh, with uh, a four-stop polarizer. It's getting quite dark and even the four-stop is nearly, I'm down to kind of F10 at the moment with it. Normally I'd be on F18 to try and darken it up to try and get half a second out and that's what I'm aiming for. Try and get movement, try and get textures, try and get the half a second. In a while what I'll do is, I'll change it to portrait and try and just get the stack itself in closer with the rocks in front and the action around it. Now, when I have it in a uh, landscape, one thing I would say is, well, two things. Make sure that you don't shoot too far in the middle, across, and you then have no separation between the actual uh, Ballyduan needle and the cliffs on the left-hand side. So there has to be separation. You have to be able to see the horizon either side of it. That's the first thing. Second thing, some powerful waves coming in there, lads. I'm shooting away here while I'm talking to you. Um, second thing is, make sure that the needle isn't right in the middle of your shot. Or even if it is when you go home, that if you're using a 1635, that you crop it off and put it, I think it looks an awful lot better on the rule of thirds. So it's either on the left-hand third or the right-hand third, just. Okay lads, it's a bit wild today as you can see and the tide honestly is a little bit far out. If the tide was in maybe another 20-30 feet, it'd be better. You all know Keith from Tullymore. Um, what I'm hoping to do here is have a second, second and a half on the actual um, shutter speed. I've got a four stop on. Uh, I'm using 16.35. I'm waiting for that big wave and we both got caught with it there a couple of seconds ago. I got some shots thankfully of it. 
Um, I'm waiting for it to come in and then it's on the retreat. I take the shot. I'm trying to get these lines that run right down onto the stack itself. Fingers crossed we'll get one in a while. Now here we go. Now here's the wave, lads. And I start shooting now. I take one shot now. One shot now. One shot now. Okay, I got three and I think the middle one is quite good. I'll show you that one just now. What you gotta do is you just gotta time it just right. Um, just as it's going out, not as it's on the turn, give it maybe half a second, bang. Okay, I've come right over to the left hand side of the beach just a little left of the actual um, stack itself i'm getting lovely color in the sky here unfortunately the sun is dropping into that bank of cloud that i forewarned us about um, as you can see it's a completely different um, perspective over here it's so much thicker than it was it's almost like a triangular a triangle in shape really um, I'm shooting here at it's getting quite dark now I've got f18 but I think I'm gonna bring that right down I am shooting at two and a half seconds maybe three seconds I put on a four stop there because when I came initially that Sun was far stronger and what was happening is I had the polarizer on and really I wasn't getting anything, the polarizer wasn't strong enough. Now, I'm finding probably what I have on at the moment a little bit too strong. I can push, I can open up and give it more light by bringing it down to maybe F9, F8. Uh, I'm shooting now at about 1.3 seconds. I'm not really getting much texture in the water because I really don't think there's an awful lot of texture to be got. I might increase the actual length of the shot to maybe 3.2 seconds. That will also allow more light in from the sky and increase it to maybe F14, or should I say decrease the size of the actual aperture, uh, the shutter aperture. Okay folks, well the light is practically gone now. Don't be fooled by what you see on your monitor there because uh, the camera is really compensating. It's an awful lot darker than that. There is some light in the sky there, but I think I'm happy to wrap this up. Thank you for joining me on another trip down in the Copper Coast. It's where I live and I know it very well. I shoot a lot here and uh, it's lovely to be able to bring you uh, Ballyduan, one of the 
the jewels and the crown really down here okay so if you liked what you saw please give me a like it really helps develop the channel and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet well why not do so and join me on plenty more adventures talk to you then take care